happening with you baby back with another video this is a little bit of a different one and um, a few weeks in the making so here's Montel say hi Montel hi hi so this one's a, a few weeks in the making guys because um I bought a new car I sold my old Range Rover got a new Range Rover went from that 2016 to that 2020 vibe um, I'll show you in a minute but before I do here's the video of the car getting delivered Sick. Just 
dirty. Sure that won't last long? No, it won't last. So now that you've seen that, that was a quick one. It got delivered at the house. I bought the car from Sydney on the other side of Australia, had that shipped over. It took about mm, 18 days, 18 long fucking days, by the way. Um, so this is a little update of what's going on. So check from this out. that last model from when it got delivered, there was, it needed a bit of work. It needed obviously a very decent, clean detail and upgrade. work and just how I like my shit. Um, I got all the rims re-sprayed black just to get a fresh vibe. Um, did an exhaust upgrade from the two to the four. Um, what else did we do? We changed the color of the calipers. We did some work on it. So let me give you a tour around it. Let me introduce you to Marcus's new whip. It is baby. Here it is. 2020 Range Rover Sport Autobiography. So I know what you're saying. It looks very, very similar to what I had before, and I know what you're saying. It's, I call it a bit of an iPhone update, right? So iPhones look almost identical, but they just got more gadgets on it. Oh, Montel getting in. But I was going through with a couple of mods that we've done. We've done the full pipe um, SVR upgrade. Okay. I've, gone, I've gone from my old plates, the MD80, to the Prestige WA plates, MD8. We boy got the small little upgrades. Um, limo tint, yeah, that 5%. And this is what I was talking to you about before, the 22s, I had them freshed up. So, and with the gold brake calipers, look at the paintwork, it looks like a mirror. I'm down here and it's like a mirror. You can see me, you can see Montel, and that's the paintwork. Because my boy, Ryan Jones, Concept Customs Perth, did a hell paint correction. So, removed all the swirl marks, got it everything that, that we wanted to do. Those 22s, full upgrades. But the real magic people, the real difference of the car, because a lot of the stuff is the same, the real magic happens on the inside. So a 2020 model comes, it's got the Range Rover, so it's all lit up here. Oh, I've got to show you a new custom a little bit before I even get into the dash. See the back bit, I've got a custom already. I've got the Rolex, so they light up at night and you can actually see that. You know what, when I say light up at night, I should actually give you more than that. I should show you what it looks like at night. I'll drop the garage, so it's back. So the garage is now closed and you can actually see what I mean. These are all lit up and it says Rolex with the lights, the interior. The interior is banging on this car, people. Absolutely banging, absolutely bang. Let's jump into this bit. For those that know, Range Rovers. Let me show you what's going on. Full touch screen. So you've got iPad here that controls all your like air con, blah, blah, blah. This is all your media section. You're, you're like your head unit. Do you know what I mean? If, if you like. Um, and then up here we have your driver's map. So you've got another map to, to look what's going on. And then if you can see through the dash here, the heads up display, that shows your kilometers, your speed, what speed the street and the area is at. It shows your lanes, so keep lane, your self-driving. Um, that's what's going on. All your buttons on your steering wheel upgraded. There's no more buttons. So this is all like, like your iPad, like it's all digital. It is very, very sick. You just, what else have we got here? And look, look when I get into the car. Hello, billionaire MD. Yeah, Marcus, you know my nickname. That's what's up. So you've got a map there. You've got another dual map there when you're driving. It's this iPad. And then you can actually like flick through um, your radio station over there. And you switch your phone. This is pretty sick too if I go in here. Let's try to do it super quick. Now, this is all your navigation, your head unit, you're going through here. Your ambient lighting is pretty cool because like you can see your lights like all through the car which are all like your blue lights that's what's going on then you can actually like you can you know there's all these colors and it all just changes so that in changes your interior whatever but i actually like blue it's and i got this sick setting that i've already done when i actually hit it into sports so you go like this and you flick it over into sports your car automatically switches into red did you see that switches into red lets you know on your dash you're in dynamic mode mr de silva Hold on to your knickers, we're about to punch it. <laughs> so that's where it's at. Um, cup holders and cockpits and like, you know, it goes up here, the dash, the, the sunroof is pretty sick. Hopefully this works the first time, but it's got gesture controls. So you might be asking what gesture controls, like yeah, there's buttons and stuff, but if you're driving along, you don't actually have time to actually like find the buttons. You can just move your hand up like this 
and the sunroof will open for you. It's pretty sick, gesture controls. Even the volumes over here, right? Like the volume, like, you know, you've got these buttons, but if you're driving and you can't, you're like, oh, where, where's the ups and downs? You can just like feel it with your thumb and you go like a circle and the volume will go up. It's pretty sick. And all your voice commands, um, heated lane, um, sorry, your heated steering wheel, your lane kill, your lane keeping assist, it's gone into night mode now, so all your dash is just flicked over because I'm in the garage. I'm in the garage, so it's gone on, it's gone to night mode, so it's changed all your white, your white iPad sort of vibes all into black, which is pretty sick, to be honest. And then obviously, down here, it does have the Wi-Fi Apple, um, Apple AirPlay, but um, I actually like it wide. You've done it wide and you've done it wireless, it works way better, so plug it in. And it just comes up like it's you know and now that's my phone and like i'm not gonna break down what apple carplay is because i'm sure everyone's seen it before and i'm not the first fucking person to ever have apple carplay but it's just way convenient your messages your calls your maps um what i use it for is spotify like i think music is so sick do you know what i mean like that's 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 probably what what i use it for the most um wi-fi in the car is pretty sick so if anyone jumps in um, in the car, they've got an iPhone or something like that. One Wi-Fi just automatically connects to that for them as well. So, yeah. So, back seats, um, Montel seat. Paris is in a booster seat now, so she doesn't really use it too much. But another little tour. I should actually pull it out and show you like a quick walk around, shouldn't I? All right, give me Quickly, two just brought that out, and as you can see, the updated 2020 model, new grille, new headlights. Funny enough, for those who've been following us for a while, I actually upgraded my old one. My 16 model with this grill, but now I've got the 2020 version. Montel, you're getting in there. Montel, show everyone your drip today. What you got? What you rocking? You always got the drip on. You got the red Balenciagas. You got the long tee. What about your mohawk? I like your fade right now. You got the daddy, the daddy cuts. Show everyone the back of your hair. You show, oh, you got the Kyle Kuzma LA Lakers. Shout out to the V, the mohawk. Why not? Anyways, back to the rangey. Real quick walk around before we get on with it. This is what it looks like. It's got full air suspension. That tint is killer. I have, for those people, full limo at the back. I did go street legal in the front, 35% or whatever the fuck that needs to be, just to make it happen. But that's the side profile of the car. This car is killer. Sick 2020. It's got air suspension. Those gold brakes are really, really going with me. That was a custom, man. So it's the first time I've seen gold brakes. They haven't been, gold brakes haven't been done. They don't come standard on the Range Rover, so I got that done. Um, I did it for a couple of things. One, to match my Prestige MD plates. Also, shout out to LV, my favorite brand, in the gold bronze color. So, that's a new sort of style. While we're here, I'll give you a quick um, car park tour. Across the road is mother-in-law's Audi A3. She, she, she pimping. What else we got here? Wifey's out at the moment. Should we give him a quick garage tour? Yeah, yeah let's give him a garage tour. All right, did, did a couple of little upgrades. Little upgrades. Still got the mountain bike, but I haven't been riding. I haven't been riding my mountain bike too much because I got some new stuff coming in. But obviously my baby's still here. 2015 soft tail breakout, customized by yours truly. I did a couple of extra mods since you've seen this one before. Um, last time, sorry, got the new headlight in it. It's an LED um, headlight. That's the bulb off a G-Wagon, that's right. I don't have the keys in my pocket, so that's a red, that, that halo inside the headlight lights up. Did that one for, because no one's done it to a breakout, and two, the white wall matches, um, sorry, the, the headlight halo matches my white walls, so that sort of flies. This is new custom piece too, it's called a chin strap. Sounds a bit weird, right, but I did all this installed. So it's a full custom chin strap, fiberglass, got that in from Thunder Cycles um, in Europe. First one fitted to a breakout that I know of, I've seen anyway. All my pegs, I've got my air filter cover on there right now, that's why it looks a little bit, I just keep that dust cover on there to keep your air filter looking sweet. But man, yeah, the Rolex signs are there, it's all good. It's looking sick as always. Flacked out a couple of the bolts up here. Um, updated the license plate, Rolex, you know everyone. Those known that, I love that. I hardly ever take this bike out, but if you want to see a vlog on the motorbike, maybe we do a whole walk around and, and a ride, get Sharice out, put the second seat on, get Sharice out, take her for a ride on the motorbike. Should we take mummy for a ride? What do you reckon? Take her for a ride? 
I've had this bike for five years. Teresa has been on it one time when I first got it, rode it to the beach. And what was terrible about that ride was it was windy as all fuck. So now she'd be tripping every time I'd go, oh, let's take the bike out. She's like, nah, that's hence why I converted it to a full one seater. But anyways, enough rambling on. Um, what else? Garage tour, that, that's about it. Um, it's a bit messy at the moment. Uh, Gar I got a new, lo another little toy. Started my whole cycling game. A toy in here. It's my new road bike which is a 2021 Scott Foil Addict. So let me turn some lights on in here so you can see it. And you know I've already up upgraded, already done some mods to it, but a full you know, integrated handlebars. Got the Pirelli tires on there. This, is thing, this thing is sick. Just punched out 52, 55 Ks today on this cycling. Helps with my fitness and I actually love it. And you know already, Upgraded with a De Silva Custom, full carbon fiber, carbon fiber rims. This thing is a beast on the bike. But anyways, Monsell, are you putting my motorcycle air filter on your head? <laughs> so sick, so pimped. I'm loving it, I love this car. I was a little bit, uh, did I spend all this money to buy the exact same car? I made a promise to Sharice that uh, won't get a Ferrari yet until we get the new house. So watch this space, I got something coming for you. That's about it guys. Montel and I kind of took over this vlog today. Thanks so much for tuning in. It was a bit of an improvised sort of vlog. I was just walking out to my car, Montel and I heading to the bike shop. So we thought, should we do a vlog? No, I haven't even shown the De Silva gang the new Marcus Range Rover. So we thought we'd do it super quickly. Um, yeah, let's wrap it up right there. As always, thank you so much for watching. We haven't been vlogging as much as we should. Um, I know it's terrible. I've absolutely killed the YouTube um, algorithm with the shares, likes, and constant content. So we should really get that back in there. But as always, we'll say bye for now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys.